Boom. Hey guys, today we are talking about two very special watches. We're talking about the RM5 in 18 karat white gold and the RM10 in 18 karat rose gold. So let's talk about these watches and what make them so spectacular, so rare because there's literally less than five examples of either of these watches available for sale right now and sort of uh, how they came to be and what they're about. The RM5 and the RM10 were two of the original models that Richard Mill came out with in about 2005 or so. What made these watches when they were released really stand out were twofold. Number one, first and foremost, it was that transparent dial. Sort of the technology behind these watches were sort of bred from an auto sport, motor sport, and, and sort of a Formula One DNA, if you will. Why so expensive and what makes these watches so special? First and foremost, Richard Mill makes and releases about 500 watches a year with the average price of their watch being sold at somewhere over $150,000. Richard Mill makes watches that cost two and a half million dollars at retail, a million dollars, a quarter million dollars, a half a million dollars. So a Richard Mill that is available for under $150,000 that's actually a desirable watch is sort of a rare breed. And to me, that is what makes these two examples so special. Aside from the transparent dial, what really make these watches iconic is this barrel or tonneau shape. Tonneau means that the watch is rectangular or sort of tank shaped, but at the same time has a curvature. As well, tonneau is actually French for barrel. So it's more of a barrel shape where it's wider at the middle and narrower at the top and the bottom. On these particular watches, the RM5 is about 15% smaller in terms of its dimensions than the RM10. And you can see as I'm holding these together, these watches I think represent sort of the iconic nature of Richard Millet. When you start looking at Richard Mills and you see the examples going for a half a million dollars and up, the Bubba Watsons and the Rafael Nadals, these watches definitely share that same Formula One DNA but they're a little more simpler in having just a solid white gold case or a solid rose gold case. These watches are daily wearers. They're not watches that are gonna take over your wrist, that are gonna be uncomfortable, or that you're gonna feel uh, conspicuous wearing on your wrist. These watches, while each of them is under $150,000, so it's a formidable value and price, they're not necessarily gonna stick out like a rose gold Daytona or a yellow gold day date or something on the flashier side. And at the same time, you're still wearing a small house on your wrist. As crazy desirable as these watches are, they can't be purchased from the dealer. Literally every watch that comes into the store is sold before it actually is delivered. So that the only way to buy a Richard Mill is to go on the internet and try to find a reputable seller selling one of these. And these two particular pieces represent the economy side of Richard Mill because all you have to do is do a Google search or an eBay or Chrono 24 search for Richard Mill watches and you'll see the majority of Richard Mills going for over three quarters of a million dollars. These two pieces are each priced at under $150,000. Still a formidable price and what I paid for my first townhouse in 1999, but hey, who's counting? And remember, if you're in the market for a watch, check out secondtime.com. I promise you, we have the watch you want.